Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dar Sloan, your official partner to content creator for Expansive Worlds. Out here doing a little fishing and figured I would drop in some footage for you guys of the weather stations for the Warden's Favors. Listen, not easy to find. They have a big glowing red light on top of them. You would think that they're easy to find. They are if you're up somewhere real high and you can look over on a mountain and see it glowing. Some of them you can spot that way. But you gotta be at the right place. You gotta be there at night. And unfortunately, it's not dark a lot um, as we're starting to find out. I still need sturgeon and walleye and I can't hardly ever find a nighttime server. Hopefully that changes pretty soon. But one of the hardest things to find with these Warden's Favors guys is the weather stations. Not the floating ones on the water, but the ones that are up in the mountains. Those can be a little tough. So I'm getting ready to drop that footage in, but before we do, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell, guys. I have been working my tail off to get this stuff to you guys so that you can have a guide and not have to go through the pain that I've gone through, okay? I've made a new account did every one of the warden's favors for you guys. What I need from you all, it's a simple free subscribe. Hit that notify bell. That notify bell guys is very important because that's what lets you know when it works that I'm live, okay? And I've been going live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays on YouTube. So please do me a favor, hop in our live streams, hang out with us, fish with us guys. We are always out there fishing together. We have a blast. Cool laid back atmosphere over on YouTube. We are trying to reach 10K subscribers by the end of the year. We're almost at 4,000. So can we pick up 6,000 more subscribers before December 31st, 2024? That is my yearly go. All right, guys, I'm gonna drop that footage in right now. All right, guys, we are getting ready to start a new mission for these land weather stations. As you see, weather stations, that was our first one. We just started that, and this is what they look like. A lot easier, guys, to get these at night. Or missing a few, and you want to go out searching for them, you can spot them a lot easier at night. Or you can just go with my guide here and go to my eight spots. There are probably more than just the eight that I'm going to post in this video, but can see a good strategy is when you get one to look around make sure you don't see another one off in the distance somewhere guys once again just wanted to show you as i'm climbing up in this lookout tower i see another weather station and just so i don't lose it because it is starting to break daylight i'm just going to put like a little a little marker i think it's maybe right there but that that gets me the general direction of uh where it's going just in case I get turned around or it turns daylight and I don't get to see it anymore. Right, guys, we are still close to that lookout tower. Uh, and we spotted this from that. So, just north of Prosperity Spring Mining Town. Right here on top of this little point right here. Got us a weather station. That makes... Two weather stations for us. We have a weather station here. I think this is just going to be like my third one. But it's not too far from a fast travel point. Just right here, you can see right there. We are on the map just above J and D Water Mill. We fast travel to Johnson's Rest, either one. And it's just right here. So this is a convenient one to get, just up on the hill. That one, let's see what our progress is. Weather station, that puts us at three out of eight. We are at our fourth weather station. What I can see guys, there, there's a lot of them on these clearings. I think it would be a lot easier if it were nighttime. But we're gonna pick this one up. This is gonna be our fourth one way through we are right here uh, down below sitting biscuit up on the hill all right we are at weather station number five 
progress and picture. Pick it up right now. Here on the map, right by this lake. Um, and also we need to walk down close to the water because I think you can cover a fish fishing spot right here too. Let's see while we're here. Get close enough to the water. There we go. XP and it also pulls up a nice little rip trout spot for you to fish at right there. So let's look for weather stations five out of eight. Alright, this one you can actually see from the lookout tower here. It's in a nice convenient spot. Yep. Gives us two more remaining. So here's where we are at this lookout tower here. We're right up above Ironworks Hot Springs. Right here, you'll see it. Right there, from, or you can fast travel, send me a vehicle, get up here like I did. And there is my sixth. It can be any order that you want. All right, guys, also here on Heart Lake, um, there's a lot of things you can get done right here on Heart Lake. Um, so the, pur the purple loose trife, there's um, one of the challenges to, to catch smallmouth bass there, like a bronze, I think. And then here we have our seventh weather station. Let's look and see. Just get them as you come along to them, guys. Um, yeah, one more weather station and we'll have this one done. All right, we are at our final, I believe, weather station. I think this is number eight. Click on it. Yes. So there's all the weather stations, or at least eight of them that I found. There's more than just eight, but there you go. You can do those eight or any combination. We are right here on the map. And I believe there's a discoverable, if I remember from my main account, I think there is a discoverable body of work. Let's, let's go over here. Yep, right there. 15 XP for that. And what kind of fish are in here? Mountain whitefish, orid trout, brook trout, rainbow trout. There you go, guys. And that is all of the weather stations. All right, everyone. That is the footage that I have for you for the weather stations. Some of them are easy, some of them are a little tough. Some of them you can see from the top of lookout towers, which by the way, always remember every time you come up on a lookout tower to go up in it and click on the map. Didn't know that starting out, it would just say lookout tower discovered and I'd go on. Uh, but if you get up in there and click on that map, it will put white question marks around the map for you and tell you where else you need to go and you will end up unlocking all of the fast travel points on the map guys if you do that it is very beneficial to click on the map just like in the hunter call of the wild you can also go up click on the map at the top you got to do that for this game too the reason i even mentioned lookout towers guys is because that's where i saw a lot of mine by accident a lot of the weather stations i would be up in a lookout tower unlocking my map and i'd see a red glow over there and that's where they were so remember if it's not glowing gold then you've already claimed it just move on to the next one okay and there may be more than eight weather stations i don't know there are, uh there may be multiples and it's just anyway it's the first eight that you click on and then you'll have that mission completed and they won't be glowing for you anymore so i hope you found this useful guys if you did please hit that like subscribe notify bell tell your friends subscribe to Darth Slum. It's absolutely free. He's got a ton of videos out there that he's doing for the community to help us. And I am your defending Tackle Tuesday champion, guys. We won in, in week one. We, we barely held off Pro XCK by three pounds. So we'll see what happens. I'm currently winning King of the Catch right now, uh, but it depends on when you watch this video. We'll see. You have to let me congratulate me or send me your Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments which video you would like to see next of the Warden Favors. Thank you. Catch you next time.